It was just after 6.30 in the morning when the Britannia made her approach into the port of Cadiz. With the sun starting to rise on the Spanish horizon, we were docking for the second to last time this cruise. All right, good morning everyone and welcome to our final port of call of our Mediterranean cruise on the PNO Britannia. It's Cadiz, located on the southern coast of Spain. And we are joined in port today by the Sky Princess and also the MSC Virtuosa. So potentially quite a busy day in port. But that's not an issue. We're going to make sure that we make the most out of our final port of call cool and get the last of that vitamin D. Our first stop in this historic port would be one just a stone's throw away from the cruise terminal. Monumento a la Constitución de 1812. In 1929, this towering structure was unveiled to the public, dedicated to the country's first constitution, which was a significant step in the development of modern Spain. We then head past this monument to enjoy a walk through the Spanish side streets and plazas where you can find restaurants and bars to soak up the local atmosphere. It is now that we find ourselves at the free to enter Parque Genovese. Being the largest green space in the city, this dates back to the end of the 18th century. Today, the garden homes more than a hundred different species of tree and plants from around the world, as well as some commemorative monuments scattered in. A truly relaxing place to unwind and enjoy the warm weather. Moving just a brief way along will bring you to the Castillo di Santa Catalina, a 17th century fortress which once served as a military prison. You are free to enter and explore their temporary exhibitions, usually related to contemporary art. And well, you know what they say. You can't have a little Castillo without a little beach. And that's exactly what you're gonna find here. A very crowded, but nice beach. It does get a bit calmer as you move further down the beach. God, Greg the bird is right. I haven't shown you the perfect beach of Cadiz yet, which is where we are now going to be heading for our final stop of this port. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Playa de Santa Maria del Mar, a beautiful beach located on the west coast of Cadiz. Of course, you may also want to call this beach Playa de la Victoria. Or maybe you want to call it Playa de la Cortadura. 
<laughs> or maybe you want to call it Playa del Chato. Or maybe, or maybe, just maybe, you want to call it Playa de Santa Panes. <laughs> or maybe, God, that's more. Or maybe you want to call it Playa de Toligora. <laughs> or maybe you want to call it Playa you're <laughs> I can't even do it anymore. Or maybe you want to call it Player de Composoto. <laughs> Alright guys, pretty much this is the exact same beach going all the way down, but for some reason it has different names as you go further down the beach. So feel free to call it what you want. Alright, well that was a beautiful day out exploring Cadiz, our last port of call of this cruise. So if you look behind you, you will see the Sky Princess docked just parallel to us. Now, a lot of you may not realize this, but Princess Cruises is my most cruised with cruise line. In fact, does that make, yeah, make sense, don't you? And the old Sky Princess is due to be leaving the same time of us at six o'clock. So it's kind of going to be a race to see who can leave first. Although they are doing announcements on our ship looking for people. So I guess it's people that haven't yet returned back. All right, so there we go. I was going to say that that's our time in Cadiz done, and we're now going to be back on our way to Southampton. But we've just had an announcement from the deputy captain to say that we're actually heading back towards Cadiz. This is to facilitate a medical evacuation of unwell patient on board. We'll return to Cadiz to conduct this exchange and then proceed again on passage towards Southampton. I anticipate this rerouting will take two hours or so. So in case you've never experienced this before, I'll explain a bit about what is going on. So the medical treatment that they can provide on a cruise ship is very limited when compared to a hospital. So if a passenger or crew member becomes critically ill, the ship will look to medically disembark them. This involves getting the patient off the ship and to a hospital where they can get the medical care that they require. Now, luckily in this instance, we were still close to port. So the decision was made to take the ship back towards the port to allow the passenger to be disembarked that way. Now, this is the simplest scenario and the ship will look to carry out this approach when it can. But what about when the ship is far out to sea? Well, I've been on board a cruise ship when this has happened and generally what they will do is they will use a helicopter. Now this is a very complicated procedure which requires a lot of coordination from the ship and the helicopter as by the nature of the sea it is not possible for the ship to remain completely still. So with the patient safely off the ship and in good hands it was time for ourselves and the MSC Virtuosa to leave the port of Cadiz. At this time it was around 9pm, 
So we were only three hours behind schedule. And then as we sailed west from Cadiz, a beautiful sunset at sea could be seen by facing towards the forward of Britannia. And from the aft, a view of Virtuosa hot on our heels, with a strange but very cool looking orange moon. And to round the night off, it was a silent disco on the Lido deck, which to be honest with you, was anything but silent. Well, there you go, a bit of change of plans this evening uh, for some unforeseen circumstances. But it's amazing how well the ship and all the crew deal with incidents like this. And obviously we hope that the person that was disembarked gets the care that they need and they make a recovery. But for now, it'll be a sea day tomorrow as we now left our final port of call, Cadiz. So I'll see you tomorrow.